Welcome back to our program. Thank you for staying with me here on We Connect. Chindi Vardarajalu is my guest here today. Quite an outstanding lady, an extremely interesting person to talk with. I'm going to let her take over now. <laughs> now, uh, Chindi, you of course, you were talking about, you know, being away abroad, never really having lived in India. No. So what was the draw? You said you fell in love with the country, yeah. but specifically why? And um, how did it happen? I, I'll tell you, because I started um, leading culinary tours. To Some, India? Yeah, to India. Somebody said, you know, bring us to India. Like, bring us. You talk so much about it and bring us to India. Mm. So I thought, why not? You know, it was, turned out I thought it was just going to be some one fun trip. But it was so successful. I did about three trips a year. Um, I would bring about 15 to 20 Canadians on a culinary journey through Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and sometimes through Karnataka. Um, wow. So totally new direction for you. Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was just came out and it was, even though it, it was called a culinary journey, a culinary tour, there was a lot of culture and everything involved. Of course, mm. food is the center of everybody's yes. culture, you right. know. Right, yes. Um, so um, it was, it became really popular. We'll, we'll go through Tamil Nadu and all its old history and, and uh, temples and streets and cities. And then we did a lot of, uh, shopping in the markets and we had uh, cooking demonstrations right. and cooking mm. classes. And did you eating. do those or did you get local people to do that? Um, I, did, I did some myself for sure okay. because I enjoyed it and I also had uh, chefs, local chefs uh, to work with us to do cooking demonstrations. The hotel will do it and you know I've even done it on the houseboat um, in LAP right. and you go through all of that and you, you we make sure that we tell them that when I, when you go back home to Vancouver you'll be able to cook one South Indian meal for sure. Really? And most of them have, you know, and then when we go back, you know, they'll ask me for tips and stuff like that. But it was this through this journey that, you know, going through all the, you know, um, small cities, going through Madurai and Tanjur and seeing all of that history, all of that culture. Um, it was just this deep calling I had. And every time I left here, I was really upset. I would go home and it'll take me about a month to get over the fact that I'm not in India anymore and I'll quickly look forward to my next trip and I'll quickly plan it. Mm. And I was really lucky that it took off so well, so it, it allowed me to do it. And then one winter, one miserable winter in Vancouver, I decided, you know what, I think I should see if I can go and do something in, in India and, and try and, you know, see if I could go back and forth and create something. And I had eaten in a lot of restaurants and, you know, I, I've had this big... I was lucky to have this big life education with food uh, mm -hmm. in yeah. Singapore being yes. so multicultural Absolutely. and Vancouver being even more multicultural. Right. Like I've mm -hmm. learned so much about how people serve and food and cooking and just the restaurant yes. industry mm -hmm. being so vibrant in Vancouver. And here I found that there were things that I could bring to Chennai that um, is not here. Um, I could bring a, a little bit of a different approach, energy, food, flavors. Right. Um, I, I'm going to interrupt you here sure. and ask you one more time about when you were doing these culinary tours sure. um, and you went to the different places w within our country, which is a totally fascinating country. Were the people, were the chefs, for instance, willing, zealous to actually speak of their recipes, to show the food, to, you know, to take these people on this journey that you had actually promised them, probably? They did. They did to a certain extent, but, you know, Indians being a little bit more reserved and stuff like that, they were not shy about sharing their recipes. They were not, they were really open with their recipes, um, you know, but that's what I was there. I, I was okay. the hostess and, you know, I would go and I would say what you could do and what you cannot do in Canada and how you could enhance it and, and, and give little, you know, stories about my past or, right. you know, superstitions and, and, and food and stuff that went around food. So... We had a lot of conversations about that, you know. Uh, my father left India in his teens before World War II. Right. And he left and he never came back to India, you know. And, um, but we, I, I just took it for granted, you know, my culture. I never really knew how much I loved it or adored it until I went to Vancouver and I was without it 
Right. You know? And then, of course, you've come back yeah. now. Only one year ago, in fact. Yeah, just a year so, ago. So tell me, uh, when you actually came back, what was your game plan? Did you, you know? So, uh, yeah, I wanted to open a restaurant. I wanted to do something that will keep me here. That will give me a reason to stay to here. To stay here, okay. And so I was, you know, checking out in Chennai and it was just getting a little bit too much for me, Chennai. I didn't know anyone. It was just too big and uh, humongous for me to be able to do it. And, and then I met up with a friend, a dear friend who I've worked with before, who was actually opening a resort um, in Mamalapuram. Yeah. And so we didn't know where it was going to go. We had a chat. And I think from r right from the first chat, we knew instinctively that, you know. You were going we to had, do something. Yeah, there. we had similar passions. We wanted to do something to create something that was our dream, that was, you know, going to be real and, and from the heart. Uh, it started there, that was in 2010. I went back and I thought about it and I came back again on another tour in early 2011. By then I had thought it out and I decided to go ahead with it and sign the papers. And uh, again, you know, not knowing that I didn't want to actually leave Vancouver. I didn't want to leave my restaurant. But then it became such a big project here that I needed to be here. Mm. Um, so I decided to give up everything in Vancouver again. Big uh, step, this time, big step, yeah, this time, very big step. This time, not as 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 on a whim as I did in when I left Singapore. This time, I had a little bit more uh, plan and a, a bit more structure. Uh, it was not just pure adventure, which it still yeah, right. is, you know. Mm -hmm. And I went back, and on the plane, I remembered. I'm like, okay, I'm going to give up Vancouver for a bit. I'm going to sell the restaurant. So I went back home. And I told my family, and I thought they would all, you know, go freak up the out wall. Yes, me. but none of them did uh, because when I first opened Chutney Villa, they were really upset. They're like, "You don't know business. We haven't been in there. You'll not do well." And so, but with this, I was so surprised that you know, I sold everything and I, I moved here, and they were so supportive. And I did. I, I left. I sold the restaurant. It was all really easy. It happened. It was all meant to happen, you know, because there was nothing that was blocking me. And the path was just, it just... Open. Yeah, open, even though it was not traveled before. It was just open and it brought me here. Right. And I moved here in, in July. Right. So you came back and so you have this dream. And uh, of course, you actually got to set up this resort, yeah. right? Uh, and uh, it, it is on the way, I know, it is on the way to Pandishay at, yeah. uh, at Mamalapuram. But I would need to ask the difference. Now you had the opportunity of setting up a restaurant in Canada. And now you had the opportunity of setting up something here. Can I draw the comparisons? <laughs> but, Chindi, I'm going to ask you to wait because I, you might need to think about that answer. Sure. Time for us for a very short break here and reconnect. Get right back with you. Please don't go anywhere.